The Pipette Boy Genius Pipette Controller from Integra will revolutionize what you think about serological pipetting. In this video, we'll talk you through everything you need to know to get the most out of your Pipette Boy Genius, including how to operate the repeat dispense mode, how the overfill protection works, and how the aliquots are even more precise than what you're seeing on your pipette's graduations. To start, the Pipette Boy Genius has modes to save battery life. It will enter standby mode a few seconds after being put down and stay in this mode for 48 hours. Simply picking it up will switch it back on, as well as turning the volume wheel and or pressing the repeat dispense button. However, if unused for over 48 hours or if switched off, the Pipette Boy Genius enters battery saving sleep mode. To switch on again, simply press and hold the repeat dispense button for 2 seconds. To charge the instrument, simply use the Integra USB-C power cable, sold separately. The instrument can still be used while charging. The Pipette Boy Genius features the innovative Steady Grip feature, which ensures an optimal, solid grip for any volume pipette. It requires a small amount of force to insert the pipette. Push until you feel the rubber, for 1 to 5 milliliters pipettes, or until the pipette's shoulder touches the clamp, for 10 to 100 milliliters pipettes. You'll hear and feel a click when the pipette is correctly inserted. Any serological pipette can be used, but when using specially Integra pipettes, the indicator will light up the same color as the pipette to show that the Pipette Boy Genius has detected the correct pipette volume. Using Integra pipettes allows you to be able to use the unique repeat dispense mode and benefit from overfill protection. Other brands of pipette will not be detected, but can still be used in manual mode. Don't be alarmed that the Pipette Boy Genius makes no noise or vibrations when being used. This is state-of-the-art technology. Firstly, the instrument is equipped with three speed settings. Simply move the speed slider to the upper position for fast liquid handling, the middle setting for standard speed operations, or the lower position for handling fragile cells or layering applications. You can then regulate the speed by varying the pressure applied to the aspirate and dispense buttons. The harder you press, the faster the liquid transfer, up to the defined maximum speed. A gentle press allows you to dispense drop by drop, until the last drop. Using Integra pipettes provides the added benefit of overfill protection. Essentially, if you don't aspirate air, the overfill protection will stop your aspiration slightly above the zero line, or the nominal volume of the pipette. To override the overfill protection, simply press the aspiration button again to aspirate more. To inform you that you have overridden the overfill protection, the pipette indicator LED will start to flash. But be careful! The instrument doesn't know if you've aspirated liquid or air. So, for example, if you aspirate air followed by liquid, the overfill protection will stop you before you get to the end of the pipette. Dispense out the volume and start again to get the full benefit of the overfill protection. And, if for any reason you don't want to use this feature, just turn it off in the settings menu. Combining the Pipette Boy Genius with any Integra serological pipettes allows you to work with the powerful repeat dispense mode. The volume wheel sets the volume of your dispense aliquot anywhere between 0.1 to 50 milliliters. It's not recommended to dispense less than 10% of the total volume of the pipette, since this can affect the accuracy. After setting your dispense volume, choose the speed using the slider. This is the set speed for the dispense, and can be changed between dispenses. All you need to do now is aspirate as much as you wish, and simply press the repeat dispense button for each dispense. Just press the aspirate, or dispense button to cancel a dispense if you've made a mistake. Just a heads up, you can use the aspirate and dispense button for your manually controlled workflow at any time. You may notice that, when using the repeat dispense mode on the Pipette Boy Genius, when dispensing multiple aliquots of a liquid, seemingly the liquid level doesn't match where you think it should match on the pipette's graduations. Don't worry, there's a simple explanation. The Pipette Boy Genius is working fine, 
and very likely more accurate than if you were to pipette by hand. Firstly, no pipette is 100% accurate. Even manual pipettes, the kind found in most labs around the world, don't dispense exactly what they're set to dispense. And the pipette boy genius is no different. If you're dispensing 10% of the volume of a serological pipette, the pipette boy genius will be accurate to within 2% of the volume you're dispensing. That's likely much better than you're doing by hand. If you dispense multiple times, you'll get further and further away from where you think the liquid should match the graduation. But again, each dispense is within 2% of where it should be. There's something else, the graduation lines on serological pipettes are very accurate at the full volume of that pipette, but further away from that full volume, the graduation lines will likely not be 100% accurate. This is true with all serological pipettes. So, trust your pipette boy genius. It's accurate. In fact, test it if you're still skeptical. Use a balance, or simply your eyes. Between use, the pipette boy genius can be stored in many ways. Firstly, every instrument comes with a wall mount, which can be installed using the strong adhesive on any clean, vertical surface. You should hear or feel a click when the pipette boy genius is correctly attached to the wall mount. The controller can be mounted at any angle to the wall to save space, and you can even leave a pipette in the instrument. The Pipette Boy Genius also has built-in ledges on the sides, allowing it to be placed on the bench, with an empty pipette inserted without touching any surfaces. The instrument can also be placed on the bench upside down to save space. It's even possible to lay the Pipette Boy Genius on its back with an empty pipette, whatever's most comfortable for you. Lastly, there's a settings menu that provides more access to the instrument. To access the settings menu, press the volume wheel in the middle position. In the settings menu, you can adjust the liquid density to improve precision when working with non-aqueous or temperature-varied solutions. Turn the overfill protection on or off, check the serial number, or switch off the instrument. Use the wheel to navigate through the settings and press the wheel to select each option. If there's anything not covered in this video, just contact us and we'd be more than happy to help. For more information on how our Pipette Boy Genius can transform your lab experience, visit our website.